No, in the bottom right, you have the view mode. Yes, sir, view. So can I start now? Yes, somehow it is uh, going off. This one is reading view. It's okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so uh, my topic is how to test an API. So first of all, what is an API? API is an interface which will help you to communicate between the uh, client and the server. Here, uh, this is client. Uh, any uh, web application uh, in our uh, uh, in our computer, we can say it's a client. And uh, here, client is sending request to the server, and the server sending response. Uh, here, uh, this API is act as a middle layer between uh, the uh, client and the server. API make it possible to send request and uh, getting response from the server. Now, this is called an API. How does this API work? The working principle of API is commonly expressed through the request. This is request and response. Communication between the client and the server. The client in any front-end application that user interact with, uh, the user in charge, uh, the backend logic and the database operation. In this scenario, uh, the API uh, here, uh, API work as a middle layer between the client and the server and make it possible to send the request and the response. This is called API. Now, what are the types of API? So, uh, there are the three types of API. Private API, Partner API, and the Public API. Uh, partner API, API are slowly used within a certain organization. It's called Private API. Partners API are commonly promoted but available for the known and the business partners. API, uh, Public APIs are the API which are av available to any third party developer and can be open commercially. For example, uh, Private API can be uh, like uh, uh, in certain organization only uh, that employee are using uh, in that organization's employee can use uh, that APIs only. Like if uh, uh, can, we can take example, Infosys employees can use uh, uh, their uh, uh, their um, certain application. Uh, so that, that uh, Infosys employee can only use that application. So, so this is private API for that organization. The uh, apps are mostly built for companies employee example and for partner API and a customer or the business users are the potential target for the audience for such app. Uh, example of that like we are using in Amazon app. Uh, we are also uh, in Amazon of app if we uh, do some shopping then we have to uh, go for payment then uh, in this payment method we have uh, we can pay from Google pay also so AP, uh, here Amazon is uh, Amazon have partner API of Google pay so this is an example of partner API then public APIs uh, we can say uh, we are using public uh, Google Maps so which is publicly available uh, we can uh, we are using this API as a public API. So uh, apps are mostly built for the company's employee in partner API and customer or the business users are the potential target uh, target audience for such app. Then public or external APIs a apps are mostly designed for the end customers. Integration of company uh, in uh, private APIs, integration of company apps and development of new system using existing resources. The most popular use case for this API software integration between the two organizations. Like I said, um, we are using Amazon and Google Pay's API. So this is an uh, integration of between the two organizations. This API releases policy allow for increase, increasing awareness and fostering external invocation. So we are uh, publicly using this Google, uh, sorry, uh, Google Map API. Then uh, here uh, in post uh, API testing, we are doing CURD operation. Here CURD stand for create, uh, create, read, update, delete. 
create is for post read get update is for put delete is for delete card operation create we are used to create a new resources but you can also modify the underlined state of the system in postman we are uh, sending create request so uh, so post uh, we are send uh, we are sending post request with this is nothing but we are creating a new request or we can um, update or modify that request also then we are uh, how to uh, read um, state uh, response uh, from the from the uh, Mm, response from the server so we are using get for this so get is used to retrieve the representation of the sources then there is an update that is put update an existing resources then we are using delete request for deleting a resources then uh, for api testing here we are using postman so why postman is in, uh, best for api testing postman tool can be used without any licensing cost that's why we are using it it is very easy, easy tool for graphical user interface and can be accessed easily after logging into your postman account with the help of newman tool or collection runner postman can be used to execute the test in iteration we are uh, we are making collection here we can run then collection and newman tool is nothing but the command uh, command line tool so uh, with the help of this uh, we can uh, run the repetitive or iterative uh, iterative uh, re request so uh, in in postman we are uh, we made this collection called gts identity service so what is this collection stand for this collection is a set of api endpoints or the request along with each endpoint uh, along with each endpoint there is a parameters authorization headers body test and setting so uh, we are uh, uh, we made this G gts identity service so this is an collection now we are using here post uh, post method or the post request this is we are creating this uh, uh, we uh, create uh, we want to create this uh, email id now uh, here i am uh, we have to send this request uh, this is this is an collection so in collection there are there is parameter authorization header body and test so a postman is a is a set of uh, api endpoint or the request along with each endpoint authorization type parameter header request body test and set, setting group under the same collection id now we will see one by one what is parameter authorization so uh, request parameter uh, request parameter here you can see the, the, there is a parameter so in request parameter there is a um, kb pairs that appear after after question mark in url question mark separate path and the query parameter used for mainly filtering of resources multiple query parameter are separated by end between them here example this is an api so in query parameter this question mark separate separate path and query this is query we have uh, if we want to add a value and uh, value uh, value and uh, key so this is author is key and uh, this after this uh, equals to this one is uh, value and uh, and is used for uh, separating uh, two query parameters so there is multiple query parameter here author is uh, value and sorry author is key here limit is also key and is value and 100 is also value then authorization type supported by postman here in in you can see we are uh, in post uh, postman uh, collection there is an authorization so what does this authorization means here several types of authorization are supported by postman select the uh, select the type from the type of a drop down list in authorization tab here is the drop down list is present you can choose an authorization type or the request or the uh, folder so there are the uh, many authorization types uh, 
are present so uh, we have to select from drop down list one which we want to use so there is a no auth in postman um, this no auth stand for postman won't send authorization detail with a request unless you specify an auth type if your request doesn't require authorization select no auth from the authorization tab uh, type drop down and list if you uh, if your uh, request uh, uh, does not have any auth if you if uh, you don't want to give any authorization then we have to select no auth type then in uh, gts uh, we are using api key as an authorization so what what does api key authorization with api key authorization you send a key value pair here we are sending key and the value pair either in the request header or in the query parameter in the request authorization tab uh, we have to select api key then we have to add a uh, key uh, key as a auth token then uh, value as a bearer and uh, with that we have to add token in it so we are here we are using bearer token so what does bearer token means it is in security token you have uh, you have a particular uh, particular token that you can log into that particular application so this this bearer token is nothing but the security token uh, token for with the help of that we can uh, we can uh, access that or we can log into that particular application these are the predominant type of access token so how does this bearer token works bearer token is created by authentication server so this this token is created by authentic authentication server so it is created for the user by the authentication server uh, every time we have to change this authentication server uh, authentic uh, authentication uh, token because this is created by the server for the user when a user authenticate the application server gives the response we have to add this bearer token in uh, in this authorization because uh, when we want a response from the server then another one there is an header so what does this headers means headers are nothing but the <coughs> sorry headers are nothing but uh, extra information which are the uh, which we are provided to the server these are the automatically generated like we don't uh, need to write anything in header if we want to give extra information to the server then we can write this but this headers are automatically generated the header field that provide the additional information between the client and the server http communications http headers have a key value pair format and they can be attached to the both request and the response these are the headers are present in re request and response also hello sir hello yes sir uh, sir am, am i audible yes sir. yes yes you are audible but i think so this, uh, it is really uncomfortable when there is no conversation or no question from anybody uh, sir but she is only explaining the headers and all sir there is no doubt over here at least just respond why in or something na some yeah okay okay sir okay okay sir hello so uh, header in headers uh, we are sending extra information this header are the field that provided the additional information between the client and the server yeah. http communication yeah. the http headers have a key value pair format and they can be attached to both request and the response after this there is a body the body type in the postman enable you to specify the data you can send with a request you can send the various different type of body data so your api so here uh, in body we are specify uh, which um, we are sending request and we are giving uh, data here 
so uh, we can change the which type of a data like uh, we want in data in JS, uh, json format or html format so we can select from here so this is a uh, uh, very basic uh, like how to sign in in postman you can sign in in free, uh, sign in free here then after this we can uh, we can create a new request as a http request then uh, we can uh, add uh, parameters here then with the help of this send uh, or uh, you can choose any get or post method and you can send request from there this is uh, you can access a collection or you can make a new collection uh, with this collection uh, creating collection from here you can add a new request as a get post put uh, uh, put uh, we can use curd operation here and use the postman collection runner you can uh, run all the uh, allow you to simultaneously run the multiple request in collection like uh, we are we are sending one uh, one get request post post request uh, we, we can do this also and we can run uh, uh, one run as a collection also with the help of a collection runner button that's it sir सर कैन आई शो दिस इन नेक्स्ट आई हैव टू लाइक Open SQL and command and all that. Okay, ठीक है, that's fine. So yeah, I mean uh, a very good presentation, Abhi. I mean, uh, thank you, sir. The way to go. This is in detail, and this gives the clear understanding of the uh, API testing. Uh, this is the background and the overview. Uh, what are the different things one uh, should know before they start API testing? So this is a good and fast step, and uh, it's okay that you know uh, testing the real APIs. You can show in the next demo where you can cover more in detail how you are creating tokens, how you are setting up the things, how you are <coughs> setting the token, and then testing yes. other APIs. So including all different uh, ways of doing it. Yes. Nice job. Good job. Big hand, guys. Thank you. Sir.